joking for one and hurting to hear for two. You know the ones there, man were just like, oh, like I've stabbed up so many people, but I just want to get stabbed to see what it feels like. For one, what do you mean you stabbed up so many people and you think it's cool? And for two, what? You want to be stabbed yourself? Like, this is the this is the world that we're coming into now that the kids are thinking it's so cool that they can't die. Like, man's talking about, oh, I stabbed up a couple of people that like, say, yeah, it's calm, it's cool. Like, they don't know that they will lose your life. You will lose your life over this thing. I got all the How we doing guys? My name is Chris Preddy OBE. Just quickly hitting you with one. My thing is like, what do we need to do for these young people? I'm like, I'm getting I'm getting tired now because when I was young, the reasons why I was on the roads and doing what I was doing, because there was nothing to do. Man was bored. A lot of these kids are not active. A lot of these kids ain't doing nothing. So the reasons why they're not doing nothing and the reasons why they're getting into trouble, the reasons why they're spilling out onto the streets, they realize the reason why they're carrying knives, the reasons why they're out on the roads thinking like they need to be in gangs. Guess what? When I was playing football, when I was doing stuff, I didn't have time to be in no gang. I didn't have time to check no girl. I didn't have time to go chicken shop. Mum was going football, football training, football matches. Once I done football matches, I used to do drama classes. Once I done drama classes, by the time I got home, mum was tired. I was knackered. So sometimes I'm not sitting there saying, parents, it's up to you to make sure your kids are in activities and stuff like that, because I know that it costs. I know that it's expensive, but what do we need to do then? As other adults, as people within the community, what do we need to be to do to make sure that these young kids ain't spilling out onto the streets, ain't out there going to chicken shops and then they go to the chicken shop and then two twos now they see they're up and then now he's talking about, yeah, man's got to catch my man and dip him and all that kind of rest of it. If my man wasn't going to the chicken shop or he was doing something that was active, he would never be at the chicken shop to so quickly catch this up. So I'm just saying people need to just wake up. Like there's been another killing. There's been a few other stabbings. There's been young kids out there, out there trying to stab up bus drivers and all the rest of it like it's getting out of control it's getting messy yeah and like someone already said if we don't try and challenge this now forget about it like a lot of people's like you know let's just think about the young generation that's pop like how can we just sit there and say let's just think about the young generations in the sense of kids that's coming up in primary school kids that's going just starting secondary school yeah that's fine it's true yeah we need to pattern them up and teach them but if we don't teach the ones that are gonna be their adults that's gonna be their role models it's done, isn't it? It's done. So I'm sitting there saying to myself, all right, Chris, you're doing your bit. Everybody else feels like they're doing their bit. But what is going on? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really sitting here trying to play the game. Like, what is really, really going on? And it's becoming more and more like it's a fashion thing. Like, let's be honest, it's a fashion thing. Like, these kids want to be trapping and jogging because it's a fashion thing. Man want to be out there on the roads because it's a fashion thing. Let's not sit here and go on like most of these kids now are struggling. Let's be honest. Most of these kids ain't struggling and feeling like, oh, I need to stack up this pee because my mum's broke. Remember them days when you used to see your mum crying, bruv, in the room, bruv, because you couldn't pay no bills? Because things was real. Because you was asking her for Max 90s and you was asking her for PlayStation. And you knew you wasn't getting it, bruv. So certain people was going out there because they thought like, right, like, I have to try and make something of myself. I have to try and make some money and try and get out of the community and try and get out of the blocks because I can't get a job. I was too young to get a nine to five. I was too young to pay the bills. Paper round was getting washed out. No one was doing paper rounds no more. So like, what are these kids got? What are these kids got? When the kids are sitting there seeing certain understandings like that, then they'll be understanding like, Raj, you know what? Like, man's got bare opportunities. A lot of these kids sit there, oh, I ain't got no opportunities. I ain't got no opportunities. When we was younger, we was on it. Like, we wanted the opportunities. We wanted to come out of the area. We didn't, like, I think Giggs said it, bless. Giggs was like, bruv, I didn't want to be a road man. I didn't want to be a road man. It's just what happened, it's just the path that I felt like I had to choose because there was no op opportunities around me, there was no options around me. A lot of you kids have got options, a lot of you kids have got opportunities. you got people like myself screaming to you saying, yo bruv, yo bruv, positive, 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 positive. I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. And you're still out there bruv, gassed up bruv, thinking that like you ain't got no life. Sitting there trying to go on like you ain't got parents. Sitting there trying to go on like you ain't got friends. Sitting there that like you ain't got ex, um, 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 big Xbox and, and widescreen TV at home. When man was growing up, man didn't have no widescreen TV. There was one TV in the yard. Real talk, let's talk real. One TV in the yard and that was in the front room. Let's be real about it. I grew up on one to five. There was five channels. Once the TV lock off, the TV lock off. Done. You kids don't understand the things that you've got, you don't understand the things that you have and the things that you can actually try and work with. You know the ones there? We didn't have no technology. We didn't know nothing about technology. We didn't know nothing about phones and all this kind of stuff that you got now. It's just the standard now. So why aren't you lot executing it? Why aren't you lot making sure that you're using this and taking the tools from it so when you get older, you're just mashing up the whole, like you're just cleaning up the whole game. 
But you want to sit there and try and go on like, ah, oh, my heart, my life is hard. My life is hard, my life is, your life is not hard, man. Your life is not hard, man. My life wasn't even hard and I thought it was hard. And I'm telling you the stuff that, some of the stuff I went through and I know a lot of you kids are looking like, rough, five tunnels, that's peak. Yeah, and I thought I was living hard times. Man wasn't living hard times, man was living good. Because man still had opportunities and man still had ambition. And man still had dreams. I just didn't have someone that was there to just kick me up the butt sometimes and tell me, yo, what are you doing? Yo, change your, yeah, like, change your mentality. I didn't have no one like that for me. So I'm, I'm here for you. There's other MCs, there's other um, role models, other celebrities out there that are doing the same thing. And if you're not, then do that same thing because these kids are looking up at you, bruv. You're not the ones there. Like, I just really wanted to just go in a little bit. I know that was a little bit more of a rant, more of a rant but it's just, guys, man, please, man. It's like, I, I, I do moan at parents. I do. I'm moaning at parents and I'm moaning at role models. But you kids as well, man. You kids as well, man. I heard one new the other day, but I was in a, um, in a, a people were feral unit and man was just talking some next greasy. It was just, it was so like, so shocking for one and hurting to hear for two. You know, the ones there, man was just like, oh, like I've stabbed up so many people, but I just want to get stabbed to see what it feels like. For one, what do you mean you stabbed up so many people and you think it's cool? And for two, what? You want to be stabbed yourself? Like, this is the this is the world that we're coming into now that the kids are thinking it's so cool that they can't die. Like, man's talking about, oh, I stabbed a couple people that say, yeah, it's calm, it's cool. Like, they don't know that they will lose your life. You will lose your life over this thing. I already said to the youth, man, you get me? Oh, man, man's not soft. Man's not a pussy. Don't be calling me a pussy. Man's not a pussy. All right, cool. You're not a pussy. But you rather be a bad man than dead? Would you rather be a bad man than dead? Oh, but he got stabbed up seven times, bruv. There were 16 guys, bruv. They chased him down, bruv. He fought for his life. He's a bad man. How are you a bad man? You're dead, bruv. I'd rather be the pussy in the life, bruv, then, innit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can laugh all you want. I'd rather be the pum pum. Be the moist you. Alright, that's that guy that got beat up. Yeah, that's me. I don't want to be no bad man that gets stabbed up 107 times and all the rest of it. And what, he's dead and everyone talking about, oh, no, he was, he was on stuff. He was on stuff. Stop trying to be on stuff and live your life, bruv. Stop being trying to be on stuff, bruv, and do you what you need to do, bruv, you get me? Got, got families and mums crying and mums worrying about where you are, bruv. Check yourself, man. Check yourself, bruv. You think you're a big man out there, bruv, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You don't think you're big. You're not big, man. We've all done it. I'm just sorry that I wasn't able, bruv, to be there for you when I was going through it. You're not the ones there, but I was going through it. But pattern up your ways, man. Go and tell your mum you love her, bruv, you get me? Go and read a book. Stay in school. Myself, Chris Pretty, OBE. Love, laugh and live. Until next time, stay safe. Myself, Chris Pretty. I got all the